Welcome to the Sea Paddle New York City taking place on August 9th, 2013. This will kick off the 7th anniversary of raising money to promote autism awareness, coastal preservation, and sandy relief. This year we thought we would take you on a virtual tour of the 25 mile journey around Manhattan Island. Paddlers and elite racers will paddle around New York City for charity and bragging rights. This 25 mile course is filled with obstacles, turns, curves, and currents. So let's start the virtual tour of the 7th annual Sea Paddle New York City. Paddlers will start their day launching their boards into the East River off of Brooklyn Bridge Beach. It's located north of Pier 17 at the South Street Seaport, which happens to be right under the Brooklyn Bridge. Now, if you're paddling towards the Statue of Liberty, well, you're going the wrong way. Turn around. The Brooklyn Bridge is one of the oldest suspension bridges in the United States. Completed in 1883, it connects the boroughs of Manhattan and Brooklyn by spanning the East River. From the Brooklyn Bridge, you're going to paddle to the Manhattan Bridge. The Manhattan Bridge is a suspension bridge that crosses the East River in New York City, connecting Lower Manhattan with Brooklyn. Fast forward on the course, which will take you on a steady path up the East River. You may paddle by the occasional container ship, and then you'll hit the Williamsburg Bridge. The Williamsburg Bridge is a bridge in New York City across the East River which connects the Lower East Side of Manhattan with the Williamsburg neighborhood of Brooklyn. You'll be moving parallel to a major roadway which is the Franklin D. Roosevelt East River Drive aka FDR. The FDR is a 9.44 mile freeway located on the east side of New York City. After the Williamsburg Bridge, you'll paddle under the Queensboro Bridge, also known as the 59th Street Bridge, and officially titled the Ed Koch Queensboro Bridge. Keep paddling, look around at all the scenic landscape, listening to taxis honking and planes flying overhead. Oh, it's just another day in New York City. Everyone's heard stories about the infamous Hell's Gate. Hell's Gate is the tidal strait known as the New York East River, which connects three major bodies of water. That's the next crossroads, the famous rapids of Hell's Gate. My only advice, hold on. Great job, you made it through the infamous Hell's Gate and are now making progress on the Harlem River, which flows eight miles between the Hudson River and the East River, separating the boroughs of Manhattan and the Bronx. Looking ahead, the next mark is the Wards Island Bridge, a pedestrian bridge connecting 103rd Street in Manhattan to Wards Island. Randall's Island is on your right. Randall's Island is a nonprofit organization that works with the City of New York and local communities to provide an innovative and exciting destination through a wide range of sports venues, cultural events, and environmental exploration for the people of Manhattan. A couple twisty turns and you paddle under several bridges. The Robert J. Kennedy Bridge. Then a short distance away is the Willis Ave Bridge followed by the Third Ave Bridge. The Madison Avenue Bridge. Then the 145th Street Bridge. You will paddle past the legendary landmark of Yankee Stadium, which is located in the Bronx and home to the New York Yankees. Coming up, it's a bridge party. Starting off, you have McCombs Dam Bridge followed by the High Bridge, and yes, it's high. It's a steel arc bridge which stands almost 140 feet over the Harlem River. It connects the New York City boroughs of the Bronx and Manhattan. From there, the next bridge is the Alexander Hamilton Bridge, which carries eight lanes of traffic over the Harlem River in New York City between the boroughs of Manhattan and the Bronx followed by the Washington Bridge, which carries only six lanes of traffic over the Harlem River in New York City between the boroughs of Manhattan and the Bronx. The Washington Bridge has sidewalks on both sides. The University Heights Bridge crosses the Harlem River, connecting 207th Street in the Inwood neighborhood of Manhattan to West Fordham Road in the University Heights section of the Bronx. The Broadway Bridge crosses the Harlem River Ship Canal between Inwood on Manhattan Island and Marble Hill. Now you're starting to bear to the left. And the Harlem River always feels a little bit calm. It's long, it's windy, always a slight current. Here, make sure you hydrate. Yes, we're making traction. 
The Henry Hudson Bridge is coming up, which is a steel arc toll bridge in New York City across the Spitendival Creek. It connects the Spitendival section of the Bronx with the northern end of Manhattan to the south. And right before the train bridge is an excellent place to stop, take a breather, gather your thoughts, because the second half is right around the corner. Once you make the turn, go under the train bridge, which you know what? Don't forget to duck. You're now on the Hudson River. The home stretch is really not there, but it's around the corner. Last but not least, the one and only George Washington Bridge. It's a suspension bridge spanning the Hudson River connecting the Washington Heights neighborhood in the borough of Manhattan to Fort Lee, Bergen County, and New Jersey. Make sure you keep an eye out for the lighthouse. And on the West Side Highway, you pass sailboats that are moored, and there's a really neat marina. The finish line is in sight once you see the tall ships located at Chelsea Piers between Pier 59 and 60. You're in the final stretch. Put your head down and dig. Dig to the finish line. You made it. Great job. You were successful in paddling 25 miles around Manhattan Island.